Welcome to the world of geography. In today's video, we will take a look at the 10 longest rivers in the world. Before we get into it, I have to explain that these lengths are estimates. The reason for this is called the coastline paradox. This is a mathematical observation which concludes that the coastline of a piece of land with a defined surface area does not have a defined length. For example, we take a look at Great Britain. If we measure the length of this island using units of 100 kilometers, we will find that it fits 28 times. Therefore, the coastline would be 2,800 kilometers. If we use units of 50 kilometers, we see that it fits 34 times, and the same coastline is now 3,400 kilometers. This process is repeated until we are measuring atoms, and the coastline now has an infinite length. Now we know how these numbers are produced. Let's dive into the longest rivers. In 10th place is the Argon River. It starts in western China, then defines a large part of the border between China and Russia and then continues through Russia to flow out into the Strait of Tartary in the Pacific Ocean. The total length is 4,444 kilometers or 2,761 miles. On to place 9, we find the Congo River. This African river starts in the south of the Democratic Republic of Congo. It flows north before turning east where it ultimately finds the Atlantic Ocean. This special river crosses the equator twice. It has a total length of 4,700 kilometers or 2,900 miles. In 8th place is the Parana River. This South American river starts in the southern part of Brazil. Then it heads south, defining the border between Paraguay and Argentina before cutting into Argentina and finally flowing into the Atlantic Ocean. This river has a length of 4,880 kilometers or 3,032 miles. Moving on to number 7, we find the Abertish River in Russia. This river flows from south to north through western Siberia and makes its way to the Arctic Ocean. It measures 5,410 kilometers or 3,362 miles. In sixth place is the Yellow River. This river runs in China. It originates in the Bayan Har Mountains at an elevation of 4,600 meters or 15,000 feet. From there, it makes its way through China to meet the East Chinese Sea. It has a total length of 5,464 kilometers or 3,395 miles. In fifth spot is the Yenisei Baikal Selangor River system. It originates in Mongolia before flowing north through Russia and into the Arctic Ocean. This river system has a total length of 5,540 kilometers or 3,442 miles. In fourth place is the Mississippi River. This river runs through the United States of America. It is combined with the Missouri River and starts in Montana. From there it flows through a total of 10 states to make its way to the Gulf of Mexico. It has a length of 5,971 kilometers or 3,710 miles. In third spot is the Yangtze River. The name of this river means Long River. It runs from central China to the east and meets the East Chinese Sea near the city of Shanghai. It has an incredible length of 6,300 kilometers or 3,915 miles. In second place is the Amazon River. This river is the largest river in the world by discharge. The origin lies in the Andes mountain range in Peru. From there it flows east through Brazil and into the Atlantic Ocean. This is the longest route, but the Amazon River is rather large as you can see by all the side rivers. Furthermore, it has the largest discharge of all rivers on Earth. The Amazon River has an estimated length of 6,400 kilometers or 4,000 miles. In first place is the Nile River. The African River runs through the countries of Uganda, South Sudan, Sudan, and Egypt. This is the longest part and is called the White Nile. There is a part which is called the Blue Nile. This one runs through Ethiopia into Sudan where it meets the White Nile before flowing through Egypt to meet the Mediterranean Sea. The longest river of the world measures a mighty 6,650 kilometers or 4,132 miles. To recap, here is the entire list for you once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time in the world of geography.